nice ancient DLC, ancient relics DLC. Again, this is another voice over because we lost the original. Well, we didn't lose. I just forgot to check the settings and, and the microphone was not recording. My bad. My bad. Definitely my bad. But anyway, um, here we are. And. Now, as you may remember from our last episode, uh, we have finished the war with the Kalasan Republic and its allies. There's basically nothing left of it. Um, it now the, the interesting thing is that we are moving forward with the uh, with the Finu. As you can see, we have plenty complete. of plenty of support. Obviously, they're not gonna accept the accept the subsidiary status. That's obvious. So we're just gonna force it onto them. And I was also thinking that maybe, or or just it's it's a maybe, and also seeing the difference. If it wasn't for the hostile attitude, uh, the Finu and the Kalasan Republic could potentially become subsidiaries. But anyway. So now that we have the castle's belly, it's time to declare war. And of course, we have to claim some of them. So we we're also gonna get that. And this this is ECPC. Everyone accepts. Let's pick us some low-hanging fruit. And right from the get-go, the the Finu have several issues. One, they don't really have a fleet. We were upgrading our fleet, and I decided to just leave it be, just let it finish. Uh, our ship, our, our capital ship, title ship rather, can can take on that. There's, there's no, it's not necessary to be pulling them out just yet. But here's the deal. So with the Finu, the problem that we're going to be facing is that they have. Uh, territory that's way too large for them. There we go again with territory, not territory. We have a we have a very large space to cover from their from their empire. Most of it is inhabited. There's no bases. There's no nothing. And I was just checking on on the forerunners, and they have a colossus. Which is the Pathfind Colossus, the one that deploys a shield around the planet, and that's it. End of the story for for that. So, and here's another funny thing that happened to me. So, for a bit, I'm going to have to be dealing with this issue. I don't know why it happens, it's not the first time, where I, I seem to not be able to target the fleet that's on the same system. I don't know if it's because I already finished battle and it doesn't consider me to be in battle. Not sure how that works. Um, obviously it's a, it's a bug, I, I, but I still don't know what's up with that. It's that, it's very weird. Um, it's going to be for, for a very long time when, when this is going to happen. So for researchers, we're taking the chemical plants and if I'm mistaken, the mineral, the advanced mineral purification. So we only have two planets that that are, that are designed as mining planets. It's I, I mean, it's not much to look at if, if you think about it. It's just two planets that have more than six sectors that are dedicated to mining. And they do produce a lot of minerals. If you concentrate all of your, if you concentrate all, all in mining, and then you have the mineral purification, the best mineral purification, bonuses and whatnot, it, it adds up and it it works just fine. Now the thing is that something that I did to alleviate our need for for pops, because right now we have 417 pops. Uh, something that I did to alleviate our problem is that. 
I had to just buy more machines. It's the Imagine only way to do it. The profit margins because, on this tech. Uh, I mean, if, if you have noticed in the slave market, there is no... Um, Oh yeah, and I forgot that we didn't have the food processing facilities. That was it's something that I was looking forward to, and it, this this is something that in the future we're gonna be using a lot because we're gonna have to specialize planets. Right now, it's, there's no specialization. Don't don't get me wrong. It's not something that I'm just doing like this and oh yeah, this is gonna be like this. No, there is a planning and there's uh, there's an idea behind all the planets, um, but. It's still not its time. It's, it's still a little bit off for, for it to succeed. So anyway, um, you may have noticed that in the, in the market, and this is an important part. So the collect, in the collect market, you're going to see a sleep market. In my case, I don't know why I can only buy machines. That's very interesting. That still helps me out. Um, Boom. We built something. Oh yes, the mysterious one of Drunkan Prime. The moon that does not belong to the world. Of the tomb world, that is. Um, so, I can only buy machines right now. Not sure why. In other cases, I've bought pops for whatever reason. Maybe that's because everyone's xenophilia. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason. That I don't know. I really don't know. Don't know what's up with that. Um, so this this part of the market, this late market, is only available for those who have the MegaCorp DLC. If you don't have that DLC, you can't buy any any slaves or any robots or anything at all. If you're wondering maybe why you don't have that, you would need that specific DLC. Uh, does is is it worth it? I think it is. Actually, Mega Corps is something that I like playing, and and this is something that I remember reading a lot about. That most people will be like, oh, so when are we gonna be using a Megacorp? When are we gonna be playing a Megacorp? How often do you play a Republic in, for example, Crusader Kings 2? Or how often do you play something that's not Europe in Europe Universalis and so on and so forth and whatnot? I like playing different types. Not just not just a normal oh, I'm just complete. playing a Robot Empire, I'm just playing uh, an assimilator and no. I like to try different options. That's why I like playing Tribal and Crusader Kings 2, even before it became a, like, a huge thing that it is right now. And I also like playing Nomad. I actually haven't made a, a playthrough of that. I should, actually. But there's way too many playthroughs in the back burner for that, so I apologize if anyone's waiting for that. I'll get to work on those. So anyway, um, that issue that we had right now with the with the weird fighting going on um, for, for our Titan ship and, and those Corvettes, that's kind of fixed. But the thing is that I need to keep myself away and I need to intercept with, it, with the different fleet. Oh no, wait, no, that's fixed. Now that, that it's all out of combat, that's what actually fixes it. So, going back to the matter at hand, the Finu have very little of their of their span occupied. I am not sure why complete. because there's a lot it. of planets from what I recall seeing. And there's also unoccupied space. Again, I don't know why this is the case. So Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. So in Doom Grand Prime we're gonna be able to, in its moon, not not in the planet itself. So, in the moon of Tungar Prime, we're gonna be able to get dark matter. See, that's another planet that's gonna give us dark matter. This resource, in the end game, if you have, if you have this row or, no, not row, uh, live in metal. If you have those, that can be a game changer. Definitely can be a game changer. Oh. Anyway, I'm, I'm just I'm going very hard on the tangent here. So, the thing is, with the Funu, there's too many systems, there's too many, there's not enough planets. 
so this invasion is gonna be slow. Remember what I mentioned about um, splitting the fleet or having other fleets? So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking about doing something like the Romans, like what they did in the late Empire, not in the in the early Empire or late Republic, where you have the legions, this massive force that would just come and break everything. Um, also, this is where I noticed that the the rackets don't work as colonists for whatever reason, and that kind of screwed me over. And I don't have anyone else to take on that job. Yeah, about that. So anyway, uh, so what I'm planning to do is, is just like the the late empire, the late Roman Empire. That is, you have a the Limitani, which are on the frontier. The, their task is just to uh, stall the enemy for as long as possible, and they wait for the main force to arrive. Also, where we have the synthetic crystal plants, that is great, but that's gonna suck 10 minerals for two resources, for two crystals, that is. And the next one is 30 minerals for six. Not bad, not the best. Um, as usual, build something. the best thing to have is natural resource itself because I mean you don't have to spend extra extra minerals and something that you could use it for whatever else period and if I'm not if I'm not mistaken um, I don't know if it's the Finu or or neighbors to the north that have some crystals. I have to recheck on that because our, our current plan of expansion is yeah, it's, it, it's it's stalling a little bit. It's just stalling a little bit. I'm also thinking that maybe on the north of the Finu Coalition, I'm thinking of expanding and creating another subsidiary. Why? Because again, now just you need to you need to understand something here. One of the things that with the subsidiaries, one of the things that, that happened with the subsidiaries is that they can fight with each other, and I mean they're competing one against the other. Uh, well, obviously that's not good because you don't need infighting between your your subjects. But this is how it's gonna happen. This is it. I mean this. There's no way around it, from what I'm seeing. Unless, I mean, they're, they're just like having a good time and whatnot. Um, so yeah, there's, there's gonna be a lot of infighting. And eventually what's gonna happen is when we start expanding into a much technology larger acquired. Empire, Because remember, when we get the advanced technologies, uh, we will get Boom. the upgrades we built for, uh, to compensate for the Empress Prom. And those upgrades will help us just become huge. I've, I've done this in the past. I've managed to have like maybe 30% of the galaxy under my, my empire. Boom. And because we of the something. Um, because of the concentration that I was doing on right. research for that. For example, there's colonial bureaucracy. And I could take it, but it's just 20. It, honestly, it's it doesn't even matter. Honestly, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, no. And I could have done Xenobiology for that extra 20%, but can I click Administration, plus one Civic slot, and that government building upgrade? Gotta take that. That's, that's not even a question. We just gotta take that, and as soon as it's possible, get the build and upgrade it. And as for the additional Civic, I don't know what I'm gonna get. Still not sure. Because theoretically we have what we need. But I'm thinking of, of, of getting propaganda, probably. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm gonna have to, to look it up. 
once once we have that. But that's that's gonna take a long time. Boom. See, now we're we doing researches something. that are taking way too long, like far too long. And there, it's not like there's a problem with that because I was I was just researching smaller technologies just to get it pushed out. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Remember, if you have comments, questions, anything, put them down in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Remember to also click that little bell in case you want to be notified every time a video comes out. So, thank you for tuning in. Have a good one.